Good morning, dear students. Dear students, today we are going to study a very important and interesting topic in mathematics. That is, as said, chapter first, knowing our numbers. Knowing our numbers. Let us first know how our numbers are formed. How our numbers are formed. If I write. Thirty-four. What is this? This is a number, right? Nine. This is also a number. Two forty-seven. This is also a number, right? Observe this number, thirty-four. In this thirty-four, what are these three and four? These three and four are digits, right? Nine is also a number. It consists only a single digit. Here, two, four, seven are the digits. From this, we can say that numbers are formed by the digits, right? Numbers are formed. By the digits. So in every number, some digits are there, right? This is a two-digit number. This is a one-digit number. This is a three-digit number, right? Numbers are formed by the digits. Our next concept is. Comparing numbers. Comparing numbers. So what is this? Comparing numbers. Comparing numbers means deciding which number is greater, which number is smaller. For example, for I forty seven and. Thirty-two. So which number is greater here? Forty-seven is greater, and thirty-two is smaller number. Ten to the power forty-seven. Is that right? So by looking at the number only, you can judge forty-seven is a greater number. But in your mind, you are knowing the. Place value of the digits. You are comparing the place value of the digits. Here, the place value of ten in this number, place value of ten in this number is four, right? Here, the place value of ten is three, right? So this four is greater than three. That's why forty-seven is greater than thirty-two. What is one is greater than thirty-two. You are calculating your mind. So to compare the numbers, we should know their place values. We should know their place values, right? If I write. This is a number, right? I'm talking about Indian system. Okay, in Indian system, the place value of one is this is one's place, one's. This is in times place. This is in hundred place. This is in thousand place. This is in Ten thousand place. This is a lakh place. This is a ten lakh place. This is a crore place. This is a ten crore place. Right? It is. 
said once tens and the thousand ten thousand lakh ten lakh crore ten crore okay in this chapter itself further we will discuss the international system of numbers how to give the place value in international system and how to put the commas as well as how to give the number names okay now under the comparison of numbers comparison of numbers 147 So one point seven and twenty three. So this is one point three. One point seven is a three digit number. Twenty three is a two digit number. Need not to compare the place values here because see a three digit number is always greater than a two digit number. A three digit number. is always greater than the two digit number right the digit number is always greater than the two digit number in the same way a two digit number is always greater than a single digit number a four digit number four digit number is always greater than the three digit number as well as two digit number and a single digit number right let's see some more examples so one more thing i am telling you
is three eighty two four thousand nine hundred and seventy two eighty fifty nine thousand seven eighty five seven fifty. Can observe here. This is a three digit number, right? This is a four digit number. This is a two digit number. This is a five digit number. This is a three digit number. Need not to compare the base values here because the five digit number is only one we have here. So therefore, I will tell you in the beginning the five digit number. Is greater than three digit, two digit, as well as four digit. So therefore, we can write the largest number, fifty nine thousand seven hundred and eighty five, is the largest number. Largest number. Then, which is the smallest number? The number which consists lesser number of digits. So which one is that? Eighteen. Eighteen consists only two digits, right? So eighteen is the smallest number. Okay. You see one more, one more example here. Yeah? Thousand two hundred and seventy-three. Eighty-nine thousand four hundred and twenty-three. Hundred and twenty-four thousand three hundred and ten. So, which is the largest number here? This number consists five digits. So therefore, the largest number is eighty-nine thousand four twenty-three is the largest number, right? So which is the smallest number here? You have to be, have to be careful here. See, four digits, five digits. This is three digits. Three digit number. Two numbers are there, so these two are hundred and three hundred and ten, right? Hundred and three hundred and ten. These two number contains same number of digits. As is in hundred also three digits are there. In three hundred three hundred and ten three digits are there. So in that case, we have to compare their place values. So first we compare the first digit. That is the place value of hundred. In this number is one. The place value of hundred in this number is three. So which number is lesser here? So one is lesser. So hundred we can consider as the smallest. In hundred and three hundred and ten, hundred is the very smallest number. So therefore hundred. Is the smallest number. That is the smallest number, right? Let's see one more example. Thousand eight hundred and thirty-four, seventy-five thousand. Two eighty four, one hundred and eleven, two thousand three hundred and thirty three, four fifty. Right. So by looking at the problem only, by looking at the numbers only, we can decide which is greater. Because place value of seven is ten thousand, so no number. Is having ten thousand place, so therefore.
for seventy five thousand two hundred and eighty four. This number consists of five digits. So no other number which consists of five digits. So therefore seventy five thousand two hundred and eighty four is the largest number. Is the largest number. Then what about smallest number? So smallest number. So these two numbers are having I mean, same number of digits, right? So this is a four digit, five digit. This is also four digit. If we left out those numbers, one, two, three numbers, these two we have to compare in between hundred and eleven and four fifty. Which is smaller one? Hundred and eleven is smaller one, right? Hundred and eleven. Is the smallest number? Is the smallest number, right? Let us see some more examples. Find the largest and Smallest number in each of the following. So first one, four thousand five hundred and thirty-six, four thousand eight hundred and ninety-two, four thousand three hundred and seventy, four thousand four hundred and fifty. Okay, here four numbers are given. We have to find out the largest number as well as smallest number. Okay? We can observe. We can we can compare with the previous problems to this problem. In previous problem, what happened? Same number of digits will not repeat. See here, same number of digits are repeated. Here also four digits are there. Here also four digits are four digits are there. In every number, four digits are there, right? In that case, we have to compare their best values. So let us compare first digit. That is, so which is the best value of four here? Ones, tens, hundred, thousand, thousand places, right? So we will first compare the their thousand places. If we compare the thousand places of every number, so every number having the same number. In thousand years, here also four, here also four, and here also four, here also four. If the same number contains in first digit, we will proceed to the in second digit. That is hundred place we are coming in. In any number, hundred, hundred place, five in five. Here we have, here we have eight, here we have three, here we have four. Among this five. Three, sorry, five, eight, three, four. The hundred place numbers are digits five, eight, three, four. Among those number, which is the greater number, eight, right? So it contains eight in the hundred place, whereas the other number contains. Lesser than this, lesser than this. So therefore, four thousand eight hundred and ninety-two is greater number or largest number, right? Greater number or largest number. Then we have compare the smallest number. So which is the smallest number here? So we have compared already the thousands place. Remember, you know, it is same. So what about in the hundred place? Here we have five. Here we have eight. Here we have three. Here we have four. Among these digits, which is the lesser one, three. So where we have three in four thousand three hundred seventy, right? So therefore. This four thousand three hundred and seventy is smallest number among these numbers, right? Did you understand? Let's see one more example of this type.
blood just one more. We have compared 10,000. The reduced are same. We have compared the thousands place and that disease also are same. We have compared the hundred disease, hundreds, that disease also are same. We have moved to tens place. The tens place in the first number is eight. In the second number is four. In the third number is seven. In the fourth number is one. Among those digits, eight is greater. So therefore, we have considered this twenty-five thousand two eighty-six is largest number. Largest number. Okay. Next, we move to find out the smallest number. Okay. Already we have compared the three digits here, and we are comparing the tens place. 8, 4, 7, 1, which is the least two, least one, 1. So therefore, this number will become the smallest number. So therefore, 25,210 is smallest number. So in this way, we can find out the largest as well as smallest numbers. Okay, good. Okay, students, up to here, what we have studied? We have studied how our numbers are formed. How our numbers are formed. Then, how to find out the largest and smallest numbers. Right?